start start. with you. Yes. Beautiful work of art. And for every every sneaker head, every sneaker collector, just get out here and buy the great new limited, super hot, once in a lifetime. Come and get it now. Sean, oh, that is amazing. I'm feeling much better. You know? Never before Woo! have you seen this. The brand ambassador, <laughs> massage to the boss. Well Thank done. You. Ranbir, please tell yeah. us what it's like for you. Just as a first reaction. My new thing. Um, so, <clears throat> this is actually my home store. Yes. In a way. This place. Uh, earlier, the Linking Road store used to be when I started out with Adidas Originals back in the day. <laughs> uh, we've come a long way. We truly have. It used to be down the road. You know where the performance, there's one performance one, so diagonally opposite, it used to be there. Right. Wo city walk ke thode pehle. Huh? Wow, that's a chota sa store. Small, tiny store. But the people are the same, huh? that. Yeah, my family, they are like. So then we got this big space over here, uh, which is now both levels originals. And now we have only, we have the design that's only in 60 stores, right. I believe across the world yep. so um, and i'm very very proud that not only mumbai but in my hood in car baby linking road 50 mumbai 52 kya bolte uh, so yeah. that's super true so yeah to have a, a store like to have this um, revamp happen to this store it means a lot to me this is where i actually come to do all my uh, shopping um, the people who work here are like family to me um, I live very close by, so this is a uh, home ground for me. So today uh, is a very special day for me, guys. You're, you're in my home store. <laughs> it, it is home ground for Ranveer, that's true. But it's going to be home ground for almost everyone because it yeah. becomes now a one-stop shop, right, for all new fashion and all the new creative experiences that are going to happen. Devika, tell, tell us a little bit about it and what it's like for you. Our role with the brand has been to connect with a new generation through creativity. This is what we're going to do here. This is going to be our hub where we're going to connect, collaborate with all the creators. This is all. The brand is belongs to the people. It belongs to the new generation. One of the finest examples we have, right? <coughs> we work with a person who, who's very authentic, who resonates with what the brand stands for, Mr. Ranveer Singh. Now, purely also as a brand, the brand has been engaging and creating an experience relevant for street culture in India. It's creating new genres which also didn't exist earlier. Tell us a little bit about why Adidas Originals is a great success story in a country like India. It's so. been a long, long time for us. Uh, we started, we started quite Good early. Job. This mutual admiration society. Yeah. <laughs> she just said something so nice about me, my God. But I have to tell you. But yeah. I said the truth. <laughs> She's leading the charge, at least in this country. Um, she is Miss Adidas Originals right here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So, Thank yeah, you. I would give a lot of the credit Absolutely. to everything that Deepika has Absolutely. done over a period of time right. uh, to bring Adidas Originals to where it is today in this country. Thank you so much. So it's been a great, great journey. We started uh, actually in uh, 2005 where the original sneakers were sold out of our performance stores mm. and extremely limited. The brand had really no impact. In 2008, September, which is now a decade, uh, we actually opened a first store in CP. That is where we started it from. Right. And in the last three years, the brand is flying. It's, it's doing incredible stuff. Yeah. 2015 is when we actually shook hands legally, formally with Ranveer Singh. And I think that has definitely given us much greater heights. And our association will always go, get stronger. Legit, baby. What do you know about that? Um, so I used to keep complaining to Deepika ki yar, main jabhi bhi uh, foreign jata hu, foreign. Jabhi bhi main abroad jata hu. So uh, the collections that are perhaps you know in the New York store, in the London store, in the Paris store. Right. I I used to always whine and complain ki Mumbai mein aisa kyun nahi hai. Exactly. You know why is the store design not like it is everywhere in every other leading city of the world? Right. And uh, why is the collection? not, uh, you know, the way it is in the rest of the world. She said, don't you worry about it. I'm on it like a bonnet. I'm going to get this done. And here we are today. I think, please, a round of applause for the intention, the conviction, and everything you've done Thank you. Thank you, to everyone. give Mumbai what it deserves, I believe. Absolutely. And that is where our focus is, Mumbai, for sure. Uh, we are it. focusing across <laughs> top three cities. Right. Uh, Mumbai is totally leading the game in sneaker culture. Uh, on it like a bonnet is a t-shirt you should wear. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest thing I've heard. 
Uh, Sean, I also want to talk to you. Ranveer was talking about it earlier. There was a small store earlier. It's expanding. But what about expanding all over the country? Uh, how many more stores are you guys planning to open up uh, yeah. just to reach such a large uh, demographic of people? Sure. So we have two formats. Now, this is the creme de la creme. Right. The, the OFDD. The is a very special <laughs> store. Special, special. OFDD is what, sir? <laughs> it's originals, fashion, destination, door. So... <clears throat> This is what it is. Sounds fancy. Yeah. First of its kind in India, okay, right here in your home. Um, and then the layout um, is a neighborhood layout. So we already have 15 neighborhood stores, right. all right? And then this particular store is at the absolute pinnacle of Originals doors. Like Ranvi said, just over 60 doors worldwide. Right. Um, so this is an exclusive door. It's it, its merchandise is very exclusive and limited. Um, so we're not in a position and we in no hurry to roll this out extravagantly. Right. We see opportunity to take uh, this concept to the three key cities. So moving on to Delhi and Bangalore as well. Um, and, and we will do that over the next two years. And, and then we'll continue to, to move forward with um, the neighborhood concept, the exclusive original stores. We'll take that a little bit further. But, but this pinnacle level, probably only th finish up with three in the next couple of years. Three in the country. But what we was talking about earlier is such a constant thought in all of us that, wow, we never get access to so many things we see abroad. Yeah. You have to go abroad to buy them. Right. Now they're all here. No, so you don't have to go to New York to buy stuff. Or you don't have to travel Europe to get it. It's coming to you, right? Absolutely. But Ranveer, you had a great time. Uh, this is not only as the brand ambassador, but also just as a person who likes shoes and, yeah. and sneakers. You got to go to uh, the the headquarters in Germany, right? And, and what is it called? That's a. <laughs> it's very difficult to pronounce. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, I'm just gonna stick with Herzog. Okay. 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 <laughs> Yeah, it was an incredible, incredible experience. I'd always been looking forward to it. I was trying to plan it for a long time. When it finally happened, I was just, I was mesmerized by the place. It's like a little village, you know. It's like a town within itself. It's got, um, it's got everything you can imagine from restaurants to cafes to every kind of sports facility that wow. you can imagine. Um, I had the, the most incredible day. Are in, yeah, there. and everything Some happens there. there. And there. Hundreds and thousands of very, very passionate people from all over the world, of all ages, who work over there. Uh, young, creative minds. Um, I started the day off with extensive meetings with the Germany team. Right. Um, which was, it was incredible to meet all of them in person. Uh, and then I met the creative director, Nick. You know, he showed me how, uh, you know, the creative people, how they envision a shoe, then how it starts how the process starts. Then he took me to the desks where they actually sit and cut and put things together, make it work, showed me all their mood boards. He opened a vault, you know, where there were all the drafts of the Yeezys. He was Whoa. like, this is where we started. And then there were like six, eight, nine hundred drafts of the Yeezys till Kanye was happy. <laughs> and then the Yeezy started from there and that's what it became. There's an the entire journey of the right. Yeezy. That was cool to see. I saw everything that's in process, you know, for the, for the coming months, for the next year. Um, that was an incredible experience to see how they actually create. Um, there is a creative lab in that facility. What's in the lab? You What's know, lab it like? has cut, cutting e equipment for okay. coloring and cutting and every creative person over there is invited to come sit, chill in the lab, uh, attend seminars, exchange ideas. They're like, just take this material, cut it up, put it together, make something. Did just you, come did you to get this to space jam it? Yeah, stuff. yeah. I did, uh, I hung out for, for some time over there. They were doing an embroidery seminar, which I attended, you know, so... How, how did that yeah. look <laughs> I mean, I thought it was extremely cool. Yeah. Come and learn embroidery. Use it on your t-shirt that you're creating, on your shoe that you're creating. So that space was incredible. After that, they took me underground, where it's a controlled environment. It's the vault, where I think it's a controlled temperature. Okay. And you have to wear gloves. It's almost like you have to cover up and like, like almost like wear a space suit <laughs> because everything there is so precious. And they take you through time. Everything wow. that Adidas has ever created is held in that vault with special casing and covering. So like a, a, a team Germany national football jersey from 1960, wow. whatever, is, it's there. The best part was they had Sachin Tendulkar shoes. I put a picture up on Instagram. Yeah. Um, what he scored his 100th 100 in, they had those shoes. 
uh, used, by the way, in like a proper casing and everything. It was absolutely incredible to see. And then they take you to this facility which shows you what the future holds for Adidas, what the stores are going to look like, what the merchandise is going to look like. And it's super secretive, you know, they have like these like, uh, you know. Erase your memory. When yeah, you yeah, they have these <laughs> men in black standing all over and, you know, it's like all kufia and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, so it was, it was a really incredible experience. Uh, I, I, will, I will hopefully go back there, you know, to collaborate further, innovate, create. Um, I'd love to see you create uh, and make your own shoe. That would be amazing. It would be awesome. Uh, I also want to talk, Deepika, a little bit about what this store and uh, stores like these in, as you said, as you said, Delhi and uh, other places would do for sneaker lovers in the country, right? Because right now, sneaker lovers all over the country, uh, it's the opportunity has just come in, say, in the last decade. Before that, do you hear of stuff or if you have a relative who comes in? So what's it going to do for people who really are into sneakers? The, get them the what hardcore they want. fans, the yeah. connoisseurs. Really get them what they want. Uh, this Saturday we launched a pair of Yeezy and it was surprising to see there were customers waiting outside and inside the store for 27 hours. Wow. It's just growing. There were girls who refused to even leave overnight. They're like, we are comfortable, we are happy to wait for the sneaker. We <laughs> It's amazing. I think the, the commitment of these people is, you know, it's extraordinary beautiful. that you know your proper sneakerhead when you're camping out Absolutely. for the drop. Absolutely. And it's amazing how... The Why don't you tell Rushil's story? I would love for you to tell Rushil's story. All right. Please say it. <laughs> No, no, don't fear. <laughs> All right. So, Rushil works uh, with us uh, in the brand team. He's the brand manager for Adidas Originals. Um, very interesting. So, after a wait tour, guys, uh, they were actually accompanying customers so that they're all safe overnight, too, and there's no problem late night. And then eventually, by 6 p.m. the next day, we started to build the shoe. And there was, I think, a queue of 50, 60, 70 people already. Now, this shoe you're supposed to buy. Uh, it's, there's a silent raffle, like a lottery, and if you get the lottery, you, if you still make it to the counter. So you're in a queue, but if you make it to the counter, you can purchase the, purchase the shoe. There's no shoe for free. Uh, you can purchase the shoe, except. <laughs> so uh, that comes from Kanye's team, so that's fine. <laughs> so, so there was a lady who was actually waiting to buy a pair of shoe uh, for her son. And uh, unfortunately, by the time she reached the cash counter, the shoe was sold out. And we, we said, sorry, ma'am, it's over. We, we can't help you. Um, she, she lost a fit. Uh, she went, she got the cops in. Uh, and Rushil had to actually go to the police station. And of course, then when the ASP realized, uh, oh, it's the fight about getting a shoe. Like, I have issues like managing criminals, you know? <laughs> yeah. How are we talking Nicholas! about this? <laughs> this is shoe love, yeah. huh? Absolutely. But, you know, the, the fact is, uh, it creates that rage. And why not? I mean, that's what the brand is for, right? It has, it's, it's a brand that stands for passion. How was the air conditioning? It's okay now. It's all good. 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 But, but also, like, I keep coming, cro um, coming across people. Pe uh, I saw this girl, she had made beautiful designs on regular kids and was expressing her own art through it, right? Uh, what's your take, very quickly, on the street style culture uh, just in India over the last few years, especially for you both because you've been here? And how, how much do you think has changed and evolved and is moving forward? I think uh, it's growing and developing and has been popularized to a great extent with uh, um, it's coincided with social media platforms right. you know people can exchange ideas they have access to designs and what people are doing across the world and uh, it's right. it's being transported imported uh, yeah. from the internet from yeah. social media sharing um, so I think that's a big contributing factor. Like the whole world is one creative country in, in yeah. that sense. And you're absolutely right. And um, I think in the past year and two years, uh, street culture, sneaker culture, they've really come to the fore because now they're there, you know. And Instagram has this algorithm right. of sending you, of directing you to stuff that you uh, interested. are interested in. Yeah. Um, so those like-minded people are then banded together in that way. It's almost like uh, connecting uh, you know, people who are immersed in that culture. 
uh, like I know so much about what's happening with regards to the culture through what I see on the internet every day. Correct. Um, so I think it's an awesome thing. And uh, I'm very proud that we're going to, I'm a part of what will hopefully become the definitive street culture film coming out of India, Gully Boy, that I'm starting Correct. in January. And I'm very, very excited about it. Yeah. What about you, Deepika? What has it like been, been like for you? Just uh, as it's, someone growing up in the country? It's been actually a last... long journey. I mean, uh, for so, years, we, we, didn't, we didn't find people who really understand and valued sneakers. For them, they were like, it's just a pair of shoes. Uh, but in four or five years, in the last four or five years, it's people, people love, breathe, kiss their sneakers. They swear by them, right? Uh, and I would just say it's, it's only a beginning. And I'm glad Originals is leading sneaker culture in India. Straight. Sean, what have your observations been? You work so much, so much yeah. with people and the, from the market side of it. What's, what are your observations no. on that? It's, it's definitely coming. You know, there, there are definitely some experts and sneaker heads right. uh, in India who are equivalent to sneaker heads across the world. Correct. But it's just really the volume and, and a translating into a little bit more mainstream, mm. which is, is still bubbling under and coming. But Correct. what's fantastic, and like Deepika said, is just to see people now having this appreciation for mm. sneakers and, and starting to understand sneakers, appreciating right. them, and knowing the sneakers' history, as opposed to just going and buying a sneaker right. off the shelf because someone else is wearing it and it's cool. Right. So we're delighted to see the appreciation yeah. Yeah. because that's really... It's moved on from yes. just being a shoe. It's like yeah. an art. It's a form yeah. of a representation of your art, or your belief system, or how you yeah. perceive yourself, right? Yeah. And you've got Ranveer. Absolutely. Who I really think uh, sort of opens up the doors there. Ranveer, tell me what, according to you, is trending? What are the best sneaker looks? You, you get away with looks that I feel otherwise... <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. But just because it, he's looking good in it, I would like to caution... Laser thinner? My word of caution, not necessarily that everyone would pass off with, with a certain look. For you, what do you think are the best sneakers or what's trending? Are you giving me a compliment or what are you doing? I'm totally giving you a compliment. Just make it clear. I'll tell you what my compliment is. <laughs> I was hosting an award show. Uh, you won an award there and you wore this really cool sort of one-piece black cloaky looking thing. And I'm like, this is amazing. I was, uh, I was uh, on my podium and I'm like, I got to get this made. And then I wore it, right? Yeah, my friends, I made a penna and I looked like I stole like an old lady's bed cover. <laughs> and I was like half Osho ashram guy, half stolen bed cover guy. And I realized <laughs> just because it looks good on someone else. Right now, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, these I'm very happy and proud to say that I wore before the drop. Deepika was very kind to send them to me before they even released. Ow! Right. I love showing off like that. Um, this I wore a few days ago. Correct. Uh, and but today is about the Crazy Eight Advantage pack, which I'm wearing right now. Nice. Which you can also see over here. It is a revamped basketball shoe, which I think is extremely cool. Um, prime knit, you know, jazzed up midsole. I think it's uh, it's a statement piece. It's kick ass, and uh, it's really giving me that that uh, new shoe feeling. Nothing like that new shoe feeling. Yeah. You know, you pair. For a new pair of shoes, that day you're just golden. Yeah, yeah. You know, impenetrable, shiny aura. Yeah, yeah. So as usual, he's wearing it before the launch. Ow! Before the launch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this is today is all about the crazy eights. Thanks so much, and guys, thanks for this tour. It's going to be super fun. A lot of really amazing, creative things also going to be happening here, uh, which have been lined up. But uh, thank you all so much for also being here. And now is a great opportunity for a photo op, the one you all were waiting for. <laughs>